amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is the most common progressive motor neuron disease. It is a prime example of a neurodegenerative disease and is arguably the most devastating of the neurodegenerative disorders. Muscle cramping with volitional movements, typically in the early hours of the morning, for example, while stretching in bed. Spontaneous, involuntary muscle contraction and relaxation, muscle twitching and fasciculation. Developing asymmetric weakness, usually first evident distally in one of the limbs. And changed walking manner. Muscle spasms throughout the body. These all are common initial symptoms of amyotropic lateral sclerosis. Also known as motor neuron disease, MND, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a disease that causes the death of neurons controlling voluntary muscles. The illness is relentlessly progressive, leading to death from respiratory paralysis, the median survival is from 3 to 5 years. There are very rare reports of stabilization or even regression of ALS. Clinical Manifestation ALS is characterized by stiff muscles, muscle twitching, and gradually worsening weakness due to muscles decreasing in size. It may begin with weakness in the arms or legs, or with difficulty speaking or swallowing. About half of the people affected develop at least mild difficulties with thinking and behavior and most people experience pain. Most eventually lose the ability to walk, use their hands, speak, swallow, and breathe. Causes The exact cause of ALS is unknown. Genetic and environmental factors are thought to be of roughly equal importance. 90% of cases the cause of the disease is unknown, no family history, no specific genetic hallmarks. There is some weak correlation with smoking, alcohol and military service. There is some weak associations with chronic occupational exposure to lead, suggestive evidence for farming, exposure to heavy metals other than lead, beta-carotene intake, and head injury, and weak evidence for omega-3 fatty acid intake, exposure to extremely low-frequency electromagnetic fields, pesticides, and serum uric acid. Pathophysiology The pathologic hallmark of motor neuron degenerative disorders is death of lower motor neurons. And upper, or corticospinal, motor neurons? Although at its onset ALS may involve selective loss of function of only upper or lower motor neurons, it ultimately causes progressive loss of both categories of motor neurons. Indeed, in the absence of clear involvement of both motor neuron types, the diagnosis of ALS is questionable. Epidemiology Peak age of onset is middle age for sporadic for familial ALS. About 10% of all cases of ALS begin before age 45, young onset ALS, and about 1% of all cases begin before age 25, juvenile ALS. People who develop young onset ALS are more likely to be male, less likely to have bulbar onset of symptoms, and more likely to have a slower progression of disease. ALS became well known in the United States in the 20th century when in 1939 it affected baseball player Lou Gehrig and later worldwide following the 1963 diagnosis of cosmologist Stephen Hawking. In 2014, videos of the ice bucket challenge went viral on the internet and increased public awareness of the condition. In most societies, there is an incidence of 1 to 3 per 100,000 and a prevalence of 3 to 5 per 100,000. It is striking that at least 1 in 1,000 deaths in North America and Western Europe Diagnosis. No test can provide a definite diagnosis of ALS, although the presence of upper and lower motor neuron signs in a single limb is strongly suggestive. Instead, the diagnosis of ALS is primarily based on the symptoms and signs the physician observes in the person and a series of tests to rule out other diseases. Treatment. No treatment arrests the underlying pathologic process in ALS. The drug Rilazole, 100 mg D, was approved for ALS because it produces a Modest lengthening of survival. In one trial, the survival rate at 18 months with rilazole was similar to placebo at 15 months. Non-invasive ventilation may result in both improved quality and length of life. Mechanical ventilation can prolong survival but does not stop disease progression. A feeding tube may help. The disease can affect people of any age, but usually starts around the age of 60 and in inherited cases around the age of 50.